welcome and from one person making a difference to another. She's the founder of PETA and now Ingrid Newkirk is using her new book, One Can Make a Difference, How Simple Actions Can Change the World to Show the Inspirational Side of Life. Welcome to the show, Ingrid. Thank Good you. to have you here, founder of PETA. Yes. You have a book out now we just mentioned. It's really a, a compilation of 50 individuals, a pretty diverse group of individuals too, right? From yes. all walks of life. What was the goal with this book? Well, there are a lot of things in your life you can't really get a grip on, like the economy and so on. But there are so many individual things that you can do. And I want people to know that they, their talents, their interests, even the things that irk them, are important that they stand up and be counted about. Absolutely. And you have uh, politicians, doctors, lawyers, everyone writing in this book here. How did you choose your favorites? Oh, I wanted a super mix. But the most important thing is they're all positive people. You know, Petra, the supermodel, is in it, and she says, poof, you could be gone in one minute, so don't make right. your life a waste. Right. You know, she was she caught knows. up in the tsunami and yes. broke her pelvis. She lay on the beach and heard the children crying, but she kept a positive attitude, and she healed very quickly, and she sprung back. There's Martina Navratilova, another strong woman. There she was, trapped in Soviet Czechoslovakia, mm -hmm. and gay to boot. And yet she's the finest tennis player probably who has ever lived. Mm -hmm. And yet she found a way to defect and she found a way to speak up for women and so on. A lot of strong people in the book of, of all sorts. I love it. It's, it's got a lot of inspirational stories in here too. And we have to talk about you as the founder of PETA. Almost 30 <laughs> years now uh, to the day that you started the organization. And some people hear the word PETA and they just think controversial. What's your response to we that? We make it controversial because we want the topic to come alive. You know, there are so many serious social issues. Animals get drowned out. So sometimes we have to be silly or we have to make people stop and look um, so that they will remember that animals are in a great deal of trouble. I did put animal stories in the book, people who have helped elephants, who have saved the baby seals, right. all sorts of things like that too. Over two million members and supporters, did you ever think that it would get this big? I want it to get much much, much bigger. <laughs> You're uh, ready for it Causes to grow? for kids, causes for the elderly, for animals. Yeah. They can never have enough members and supporters. What's life been like as the founder of PETA? I have to ask, like, what, what's a day in the, in the life of Ingrid? Uh, like? It's very hectic. I think sometimes I do the things no one else wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> but right. it has also given me the opportunities. I mean, sitting with Paul McCartney to get his essay for this book, with Stella, his designing daughter who has beautiful fashions with no fur or leather, um, talking to people like Dr. Henry. Henry Heimlich, who saved all these lives on the battlefield. I have access that perhaps I wouldn't have had long ago. So it's very exciting. And getting everyone together to make a difference is exactly. super. Exactly. And I like that you are using your clout to make a difference, too. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. We appreciate it. And again, the book is called One Can Make a Difference, How Simple Actions Can Change the World. It's available now.